hello everyone welcome to another video and in today's video i want to talk about open systems interconnection or osi model okay so osi model is a, a networking standard that has been followed from a long time and whenever someone wants to start learning networking networking to become a linux administrator or an aws cloud engineer or a devops engineer so it is pretty important for any anyone to understand this so since we are talking about networking here i just want to uh, give you a small definition of what is a network so a network is a connection between two or more computers which wants to send data between each other okay so this is the most layman uh, definition of a network so so just uh remember that whenever you want to send data between two or more computers you have to, uh, you have to form a network between them okay to be able to do so so this osi model is a networking standard that helps to identify the information the layered information that is attached to your data packets that you want to send from one computer to the other okay so as you can see in the slide there are uh, 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 seven layers of osi model okay so let's start with the very first one which is the application layer or layer 7 so it is the interface permitting the user to send and receive data through clients and applications the meaning of this is uh, i want to give you a very a practical example that you can all relate to so suppose you are using a computer and within the computer you have opened a web browser and on the web browser you are trying to access a website it can be any website okay so when you enter the address or the url of the website and hit enter so you are trying to interact with the remote web server via the web browser so this web browser is working as an application interface for you so that you can interact with the website okay then layer 6 is the presentation layer which converts the request from the application into a universal format now whatever information you are trying to retrieve from this web server or from this website may not be in the format that you understand or that can be read on your screen so this presentation layer helps to convert all that data into a into a format that you can easily understand and that can be visible on your screen okay and this also is being handled by the web browser these days okay then the next is session layer or layer 5 which is to permit the ability to open close and manage a session between the process and response now whenever you are trying to access a website okay you are trying to form a tcp connection to that web server the remote web server from your computer so this tcp connection that is opened is called a session okay so you are trying to form a session with the remote web server so that you can uh, 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 get the data back to your computer okay then layer 4 which is called the transport layer so a transport layer defines how data will be sent uh, providing validation and security the meaning of this is whatever data you are trying to request from this website okay on uh, i mean uh, on a remote web server that data is always segmented into small portions and then the data is being sent to you okay so this transport layer helps to identify the requester who has requested the data and it also ensures that only the requester gets the data that he or she has requested okay so that is all being handled at layer 4 by the transport layer then layer 3 is called the network layer so when the data is being sent back to your computer it is important for the web server to be able to identify the right address so layer 3 handles the addressing part okay so when we talk about ip or internet protocol it's a layer 3 protocol that is used to uniquely identify devices in a network okay so each device will have its own unique ip address okay just like you have your uh, unique house number in a society right so similarly each device has its own ip address and the remote web server is able to send back the data using this ip only uh, to the right address 
okay then layer 2 is a data link layer which handles communication between adjacent nodes now uh, when we talk about the networking at a very low level okay so so there is always hardware devices okay which are uh, trying to talk to each other right so I mean, whenever you are uh, trying to access a remote web server you uh, uh, in the back end there is some hardware that you're trying to talk to from your hardware right i mean from your computer's hardware so each hardware has its own address which is called mac address it is also called hardware address okay so mac stands for media access control so this uh, uh, mac address is the hardware address of all the devices that are trying to talk to each other okay then the last layer which is the physical layer or layer one it is it handles bit level transmission between uh, network nodes now uh, if you are trying to send data from one computer to the other at the very lowest level of the networking there is uh, what you call raw data being sent okay which means you are uh, trying to send the binary digits zero and one in the form of electrical signals okay so i mean in real you're trying to send something right there's something flowing from one computer to the other those are actually electrical signals being sent at the very lowest level so when we talk about physical layer it defines those electrical signals that are being sent from one computer to the other okay so it says uh, i mean the definition says handles a bit level transmission between network nodes okay so this is uh, the brief uh, uh, introduction into all the uh, seven layers of the OSI model okay and uh, same thing I've mentioned in my latest slides as well so application layer as I mentioned a user clicking on the link within a web browser the browser the application provides the interface for the user to interact with the content provided by the remote web server the application handles the details of finding the web server requesting the page and loading the uh, requisite assets to render the page so whatever i just uh, uh, told you about the application layer it has the same information with some additional information in the slide and then presentation layer the web browser uh, renders the page by converting the file stored on the remote server into formats that permit displaying the content in the case of the web browser this includes image formats such as jpeg and gif being uh, converted into actual images on the screen okay so this is just an example of a data conversion so when you we uh, uh, talk about images that you're trying to download from a remote web server we're talking about jpeg and gif images being uh, converted into the actual images on the screen so this is all being handled by the presentation layer then session layer as i mentioned when a user clicks a link in a web browser the browser will initiate a tcp connection which uh, which stands for a transmission control protocol to the web server the web server will send a response and close the connection then a transport layer the web browser breaks up the tcp request into manageable segments applies a label to protect the data and transport it across the sessions okay then after transport layer we have a network layer the web browser computer uses the IP address IP stands for internet protocol address to determine if the web page is local or remote and how to reach the remote IP via the default gateway okay we will talk about default gateway in our next video the computer creates a message or packet and addresses it to the web server with its own return address so th the meaning of network layer is you should know the data which has to be sent back to which IP address so uh, that is being handled by network layer then if we talk about a data link layer it refers to the hardware address that is in uh, that we are working with so the packets are structured into messages called frames it uses something called as frames uh, uh, to be sent to the default gateway these frames contain the source and destination IP addresses as well as the source and local destination MAC addresses. 
then physical layer this layer is hardware specific and is the actual physical connection between the computer and the network the raw bits are transmitted as pulses of electricity or light over the network medium so as i mentioned at the lowest level of networking there are electrical signals being sent from one computer to the other to send the data okay so all that is managed as the physical layer or layer one of the osi model okay then each of these different layers have the protocols attached to them okay so when i spoke about the website that you're trying to access on a web browser we are talking about http protocol okay but, but then there are other other protocols as well like a pop3 smtp dns and soap okay so this is just an additional information then if we talk about this presentation layer or the session layer so we use tls uh, ssl mime jpeg gif and similarly for a session layer we use ldap netbios pptp rpc smb and ssl so why i have highlighted ssl ssl is used when you're trying to have a valid certificate for a website if you see any website these days the secured website it will have a lock symbol uh, there at the start of its address okay so that lock symbol signifies that the website has a valid certificate attached to it okay so, so that is called ssl certificate or secure socket layer certificate so this is part of presentation and session layer then you have transport layer so as i mentioned a tcp but you also have other type of uh, transport protocols like udp spx and iscsi okay but in this example we spoke about tcp which stands for transmission uh, transmission control protocol then layer 3 the network we talk about we spoke about ip or internet protocol but we do have ipsec icmp and rip protocols as well then data link layer ethernet frame relay uh, Wi-Fi, uh, Triple P, uh, VLAN, and MAC. Okay, so these are the name of the protocols that uh, I mean when we are talking about these protocols. So these are part of data link layer. Then physical layer, Ethernet, physical, or infrared. Okay, so these are just a, just the name of the protocols. But in general, when we are uh, I mean working as a Linux administrator or as an AWS cloud engineer or as as a DevOps engineer. The things that we'll be working with most is these five layers, okay, uh, mostly. Application, presentation, session, transport, and network. These two layers are there, but you should know the information. But I mean, uh, I mean, as a DevOps engineer or as a Linux administrator or as an AWS engineer, you, you won't be dealing with, with these two layers much, okay? But you should know that these two layers exist, uh, exists, all right? So this is all about OSI model basics that I want to cover. In the next video, I am going to talk about some more networking fundamentals that you should know uh, in your journey to become a DevOps engineer. All right, I'm going to end the video now and I'm going to see you in the next one.